Welcome back. The pandemic has put a pause on all non-essential business operations, including assisted reproductive technology treatments like IVF. Dr. Matma is joining us live right now to discuss how families can continue supporting healthy fertility during the pandemic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Of course. You know, life is very, very different for a lot of people right now. So I want to talk about some of the habits that people might be falling into right now that may have a negative impact on fertility in the future. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the commonality of maybe drinking more alcohol than you normally would or eating more junk food than you normally would is going to affect your fertility and really it's going to affect it three months from now. Oh, wow. So everything that people are doing right now is going to show in about three months. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about some of the stressors that people might be feeling right now. I, I talked to a behavioral health therapist yesterday and he was just talking about ways to just make sure you're still staying active and being out there. So can you talk about some of the stressors people might be feeling and how that could impact this and then also some of the do's and don'ts? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're way more isolated than we are used to and humans are social creatures. So being isolated is not helping and our suggestion is to reach out to friends and family have more conversations maybe be on video conversations so you can at least feel the person's energy and see them um, so help to mitigate a little bit of that social isolation and then for fertility specifically you really want to reach out to the people that are going through what you're going through so having that support network is really important um, as far as the do's and don'ts Definitely do not indulge in ice cream, sugar, <laughs> co co cookies, alcohol, like all the things you know not to do for fertility and absolutely need to do drink more water, get lots of good quality sleep and make sure your diet and lifestyle is fertility friendly. Gosh, that can be so hard considering everything we're dealing with right now. Um, you know, infertility can really impact anyone and everyone. So um, can we talk a little bit about some things that are helpful during National Infertility Awareness Month? Yeah, you week, know, I, I think this month is really important because one in eight couples struggles with infertility between the age of 18 and 35. And that statistic really doesn't even cover all the women that are waiting till later and later in life to have babies. So our infertility rates are staggeringly high and the awareness around this is so important because it helps to destigmatize infertility and destigmatizing will help people to reach out for help sooner rather than waiting several years before they even go talk to a fertility consultant. Dr. Matma, thank you so much. We ran out of time, but really appreciate you taking time to talk to us about this. Thanks for having me. Of course, and we'll be right back.